Eli Tomic first repeat winner of 2022 at Supercross Triple Crown in Arizona Hunter Lawrence grabs 250 SX class win to Titan points. Monster Energy star racing Yamaha's Eli Tomic took the Monster Energy AMA Supercross overall win in front of 54,781 screaming fans inside State Farm Stadium at the first Triple Crown race of the season. The unique three-race format combines results to award single-event championship points. Tomic's victory made him the season's first repeat winner in an intensely close title battle. Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Factory Racing's Malcolm Stewart took home second place. It marked his first podium of 2022 and also his career first Triple Crown podium finish. Team Honda HRC's Chase Sexton earned third overall in his first 450 SX Class Triple Crown event thanks to a win in the final main event. In the Western Regional 250 SX Class, Team Honda HRC's Hunter Lawrence took his first win of the season with consistent 2-1-2 finishes inside the first football stadium venue of 2022. When the 450 SX Class dropped the gate on the ninth ever Triple Crown format race, Tomic shot out of the gate and hole shot the field in race one. From there he built over a three-second lead that held to the checkers. Team Honda HRC's Ken Rockin held second early but had Monster Energy Kawasaki's Jason Anderson and Malcolm Stewart on his tail. Two minutes into the 12-minute plus one lap race, Stewart pushed past Anderson for third. Further back, Round 3 winner Chase Sexton was in the mix but two tip-overs relegated him to an 11th place finish, with less than three minutes on the race clock Anderson, then back in third, pushed cleanly past Rockin. Stewart moved around the Honda rider soon after to wrap the top five in race one as Tomek, Anderson, Stewart, Rockin, and Red Bull KTM's Marvin Musquin. Eli Tomek repeated his hole shot in 450 SX Class Race 2. The Yamaha rider led with Anderson, Red Bull KTM's Cooper Webb, Musquin, and Sexton on his rear fender. In the early laps, Stewart took over third place while defending champion Webb dropped back steadily, eventually finishing in eighth. Tomic rode perfectly and quickly distanced himself from any pressure for the lead spot. Just before the race's midpoint Jason Anderson got slightly offline on a launch and jumped off the track in a long rhythm section. He twisted his bike's levers and got it hung up on a tough blix. It dropped Anderson outside of the top 10. Monster Energy star racing Yamaha's Dylan Ferrandis was the rider on the move late in the race, reaching 5th by the end, displacing Rockin to 6th. Anderson climbed back to 12th by the finish. In the final race of the night, Sexton rocketed out to the hole shot and quickly built a lead just out of reach of the battles behind him. Stewart sat second with Tomac in third, in position to take his fifth Triple Crown overall win if things held where they were. Anderson was the rider on the move early, pushing past other racers until he forced a three-rider battle for second place. With just over five minutes left on the clock, Tomac pushed into second, but Anderson charged past both Stewart and Tomac to take over the spot and set his sights on Sexton, who was 4.2 seconds ahead on the track. Anderson wasn't able to track down the Honda rider, costing him a podium finish. It was Anderson's first Triple Crown event in which he did not leave with podium position points. The Western Regional 250 SX Class Racing was equally intense. Hunter Lawrence grabbed his first win of the year after landing on the podium at each prior round. He earned the top spot in Glendale through similar consistency with 2-1-2 finishes in each of the 10-minute plus one lap races. Points leader Monster Energy star racing Yamaha's Christian Craig won races 1 and 3 nearly unchallenged from start to finish, but his second race was a wild one. After Craig took over the lead on the opening lap, smart top bullfrog Spa's Moto Concepts Honda's Vince Freeze collided with him in the sand section. The impact sent Craig sailing off the track and into the stadium's field barriers. Craig's charge to fourth in that race, salvaging an overall podium finish. Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki's Joshimoto rounded out the night's top three with 5-3-3 finishes. It was Shimoda's first podium finish of the year.
The series heads back into California for round six and Anaheim three, the last round of the initial West Coast swing. It will also mark the final Western Regional 250 SX Class Series event before that class takes a five-week break for the Eastern Regional 250 SX Class Series to kick off.